Hello and good morning internet friends. Get ready for a super fun out of this world adventure today because we are back here at Disneyland and it's the first weekend that Galaxy's Edge is open without reservations. It's very early in the morning. I'm not a morning person, but for Disneyland, I think we can make an exception. So it's 8.10. The park literally just opened 10 minutes ago and the wait time for Smuggler's Run is 75 minutes. Yeah, I heard from a lot of other Disneyland YouTubers that the park has actually been really empty. You'd think it'd be more crowded, but it was surprisingly pretty empty. But this is the first Saturday that Galaxy's Edge is open without reservations, so... I'm expecting some crazy crowds. We're gonna battle the crowds. It'll be an experience. I'm running on exactly one hour of sleep right now. We drove all the way down overnight to be here for opening. I'm dying on the inside, but you know what? I'm dying at the happiest place on earth. I think that's what really matters. Hi, Pluto. <laughs> yes. My dog doesn't do that. 15 minutes into park opening, the wait time for Smuggler's Run is already up to 90 minutes. So we're gonna hold off on that for a little bit and explore the rest of the park, because chances are the rest of Disneyland's gonna be a ghost town while it's just total chaos over in Galaxy's Edge. part of Disneyland that's not Galaxy's Edge. Now we are here. Do you turn this? We're here on the teacups. I'm about to throw up. We had a very big breakfast. Oh my god. The happiest place on earth. All right, so we are now making our way over from Fantasyland over to Galaxy's Edge, where I suspect it'll be a little bit more busy than the rest of the park. So far this morning, there hasn't been any like boarding system thing. The park land has just been open. Here we go. First time to Galaxy's Edge. I'm excited. As soon as we walk under that bridge, we're gonna be transported to a whole nother planet. Maddie's excited. Full disclosure, my space Star Wars knowledge is very limited. Um, <laughs> wish me luck. Kylo Ren and the Stormtroopers are gonna come up to me and I'm gonna have no idea what to say. I've watched like so many YouTube videos on this. I'm so excited to check it out for the first time in person. over to the Black Spire Outpost and one of the cool snacks that they have here is the Black Spire Popcorn Mix, which we got here. It's a little sweet, a little spicy, different from the popcorn that you normally get off planet. It tastes a little bit like fruity pebbles. It smells like kettle corn. Like the purple one's a little sweet. Really good. Oh, the red one. The red one definitely has a kick. But it's not overly spicy. It's like... You can feel the kick, but like the sweetness comes in. Very different, I will say, but I like it. Chewbacca's over here. He looks very fluffy. So, we're gonna have you guys one at a time come on up. And you're gonna show us your best looking. You can use your hands. We are in front of the Millennium Falcon. Like, after seeing this thing online, I was like, you know, it's probably gonna be a little smaller in person, but no, this thing is huge. We are getting ready to embark on the Millennium Falcon Smuggler's Run Ride. Right now, the wait time is 55 minutes, which by Galaxy's Edge standard is actually really short because all day it's been like 90 minutes, 120 minutes. So 55 minutes, it's a little bit more manageable. Hopefully we get the pilot position because the only thing I'm good at, it's not pirates. <gasps> Locals. I have no idea what's going on in here. Now it's a real person. I am Hondo Onaka, and this is Onaka Transport Solutions. Today. I am offering the opportunity of a lifetime. I need flight crews to transport this valuable merchandise across the galaxy. Pilots to navigate, engineers to operate the ship, and gunners to defend the shipments. And that is where you come in. Uh-oh, the Millennium Falcon. Argo for some very fast and very profitable expeditions. 
This is like the craziest waiting area ever. Like, look at this. Not only that, but the number one position I wanted to get was pilot. And I just so happened to get pilot. I'm gonna end up crashing this ship. I just know it. Wish us luck. We're gonna need it. Gunners, you clear the path. Pilots, line up behind the train. And engineers, you harpoon that precious cargo. And as we always say here at the Naka Transport Solutions, get out of here and go make Hondo some money. <laughs> and supervise young ladies. Oh my god. Oh my god, I don't know what I'm doing. What is going on? Better be fast. I don't know. How do I press? How do I press? That was like the craziest ride experience ever. Like, I cannot recommend it enough. I was just so intrigued by the ride. I was like, oh shoot, I have to pilot this thing. It was so crazy. I only crashed twice. And I was screaming the whole time because I had no idea what was going on. I'm like, what are we trying to do? It's an adventure, all right. An adventure <laughs> in Galaxy's Edge. So we finally found the Joy Depot, which I could not find because there are no signs on any of these doors. But this is so cool because you get to build your own like either BB-8 or R2-D2 droid. You get all the parts off of here. You go over to your station, build your own droid. There's also a lot of stuff going on up there. Think of all the droids we can build. I heard there was a $25,000 R2-D2 in here and I want to find that little thing. This is literally the coolest thing, a life-size. R2-D2, that's $25,000. I want to buy it. I need a new friend. We're about to start a Kickstarter, a GoFundMe. R2-D2. It's so weird to like actually get the chance to see that in person. Like I've watched all the Galaxy's Edge videos. It was pretty cool. The line for, oh my God, what? Oh my God, you guys, I, I see someone I, I know. Excuse me, ma'am. Hi, hello. Hello. Hi, I'm lost. The camera's ready for me. <laughs> you know, I recognize your voice right away. How are you? I was actually just going to text you on my break, too, and be yeah. like, uh, where are you? I was going to ask you the same thing. I'm like, where are you, and what time are you going to be here? Bye, Taylor. I'm going to jump in. Oh, bye, bye, friends. Best cast member ever. I'm going to tweet at Disneyland today. Bye. Be sure to do that. Bye, Taylor. Have fun. And so we are making our way over from Disneyland right behind me, across the way over to California Adventure. We've got a few fast passes here and it's starting to get a little bit more crowded. That was so weird going from Galaxy's Edge back into Disneyland. It was a little bit of a shock. But you know, for a Saturday in June, it's actually still not even that crowded. Like, especially over at California Adventure. It feels like everyone's still over in Galaxy's Edge, so other parts actually pretty calm. <laughs>
the back of the Incredicoaster. The wildest spot to be. <laughs> the craziest thing literally just happened right now. So if you don't know me, I actually follow a lot of Disney celebrity Twitter and Instagram accounts. And the one celebrity that just so happened to be in the park today is a little someone named Jojo Siwa. I don't know who she is. I'm a little older than her demographic. Maddie knew who she I was. I've known her for like five or six years already. I know she did VidCon and she does Nickelodeon stuff and whatnot, but like <laughs> we were, I was like checking Twitter and like a photo showed up of her next to Guardians and so we ran over there. The highlights of our magical day here at the happiest place on earth, Jojo Siwa from Nickelodeon. The cool things here are about Batu and Galaxy, and they have a very special drink, which is a lot like the ones we have on earth, but that's not English. And it looks like a little mini grenade. Throw it, it might explode. Open it up. 